Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Musu K17 cordless vacuum cleaner. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. You can see the nice, simple retail box and packaging right here with some great product photography on it. You can see it from the front. And then we have the same image along both sides. A couple of quick tech specs for you with this cordless vac. In standard mode, you get 10 kPa suction. It will last around 30 minutes of runtime. If you wanna use the max mode, you'll get 17 kPa suction and it'll last around 15 minutes. It also takes around four hours for this vacuum to fully charge. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, you can see we have our instruction manual right here for the K17 Pro. There's multiple K17 variants. You can see they have their customer service and contact information front and center. Then they walk you through a bunch of the product features, safety instructions, what's in the box, a nice overview. You can learn more about assembling, how to use everything. We have our specs right here too on the Pro version. You can see our operating instructions right here, how to mount the wall hanger, cleaning and maintenance instructions too. And you can learn more about swapping out and replacing the filter, the floor cleaning brush, how to clear a clog with the included tool, troubleshooting suggestions, and warranty information. Next, you can see a bunch of our different attachments and accessories. So we'll look at them in more detail right here. Check that out so you can see how they look. Very nice. Everything looks great. Check out the flexible hose attachment. Look at that. So we can really expand that accordion style. Get those hard to reach flexible areas. You can see our main body tube right here. Love the red color scheme. And then we just have our adjustment right here. So there you go, there's our max extension, but we have additional options we can stop it in as well. So really nice, very cool. And you can see it'll just slide and stop at each one depending on what we're after. You can see our mini brush attachment right here. They call it a electric sofa brush. So you can see the brush roller with the hard bristles right there. Looks great. We have our charger. We have our one included battery. You can see 2200 milliamp hours, 48 watt hours. Nice design to it. You can see our charging contact right there. And then we have our removal clip. Just clips right in place. You can see our cleaning tool right here. We have two screws and two wall anchors to attach our wall mount if we want. We also have 3M adhesive on the back side too for a less permanent solution. You can see how everything's going to clip in place here, and then all of our accessories will go and stack on each other right here. We have an additional air filter, which is great. One's included already installed. We have an extra one. Then you can see we have our main brush roller right here. Check this out. Got our built-in LED lights. Really nice brush. So you can see it right here. We have soft bristles and hard bristles. This is for carpet and hard surfaces keep away from water. But check that out. Let's look at that from all different sides and angles right here. Look at how it's gonna be able to really pivot and move around freely as you're navigating your house and cleaning. Really, really cool. And then last but not least, we have the vacuum head itself right here. So let's look at that. You can see on this side, we got our max indicator for our dustbin contents. You can see it from this side too, where we have our power buttons right here and our power settings. So we can turn it on and off and adjust our power settings. Here just from the other side, you can see we have our lock or unlock position. Same with this side, letting us know how to navigate that. You can see from the top, we got the Musu logo and branding. You can see it from this side too with our contacts to power our brush accessories and the LED lights. We can also press this button to reveal the dustbin contents for easy emptying. And then we have the removable contents inside, just twist to remove. If you need to change the air filter, you can do that very easily. 
then line everything back up and just gently twist it in place and everything's installed again. Let's go ahead, let's press this button too. So you can see if we press it, we'll be able to very gently loosen everything. And there we go, we can remove it that way as well, which is pretty cool. So then we can line it back up and then everything locks back in place. Now let's go ahead, let's work on getting everything set up. Setup's very simple and straightforward. The first thing we have to do is install our battery. It just slides and clips right in place. So there we go, we have the battery installed. We can even charge it connected to the main unit so we don't ever have to remove the battery. If for some reason you want to remove the battery, maybe you have multiple batteries that you've purchased separately to increase the runtime, then you can go ahead, you can just press this lever and slide everything right back out. Now we're ready to actually use the vacuum. So let's go ahead, let's choose the accessory and attachment that we want to use. So we have two main bodies we can use. We have the flexible body right here and we have our main body that also still delivers power. So if you wanna use this flexible hose and attachment, which is really cool, we're limited to just being able to use this attachment right here for everything. It snaps in place and then we can connect it to the vacuum like so. And now we can get some of those really hard to reach areas with this attachment. But keep in mind, you will not be able to use these accessories with this attachment because they don't have a spot cut out for the contacts that were needed to power the brush rollers. So you can see they are unable to attach right there. Even this guy we're unable to use because this has LEDs built in to the bottom of it, which is really cool to illuminate the area. But unfortunately, even if we didn't want to use the LED lights and wanted this attachment, we cannot connect it together. So keep in mind for the flexible hose attachment with the Pro model, we're only able to use this accessory with it. Now, if we're gonna use the main body tube right here, it just snaps right in place. We can make our adjustments right here and that is our max extension or max height for the unit. And then we can attach whatever we want. So say we want our mini brush roller, we can snap that in place. We're ready to go to start cleaning with it. Maybe we want the main brush roller. We're gonna clean our whole house, same thing. And this is able to power the brush and the built-in LED lights on this unit. We also have the LED lights on this unit as well. And we can snap that in place and we're ready to go to get those hard to reach areas, cracks, crevices, in between the couch cushions, that sort of thing. Don't forget to, we can also just directly attach like this accessory right to the vacuum head as well. Very portable, lightweight. I believe it's less than three pounds. So very easy to hold in one hand and freely move about because it's cordless. Now, before we start cleaning, let's go ahead, let's turn off all the studio lights and try out the built-in LED lights. First up, I have the crevice tool installed. Let's go ahead, let's power on the vacuum. And you can see the built-in light right there. It is very, very bright, so cool. So you can clearly see the nearby area and surrounding area of the crevices you're trying to reach to clean up. Very bright, really, really awesome idea to have that LED illumination built into this tool. Now let's try out the main brush. Now we got our main brush attachment installed. Let's go ahead, let's power it on. You can see the four built-in LED lights right there. Really cool. Powerful enough to illuminate the whole area in front of the vacuum so you can see what you're picking up.
we just finished our first clean. Now we can take a look at the brush rollers and we'll take a look at the dust bin contents. You can see we already filled it up to the max level with one pass around our house. So first let's look at the brush rollers. You can see our mini brush roller right here, our sofa brush. I use this to vacuum my stairs and it was able to pick up a lot of carpet fibers, more fibers than I thought. I'm looking through this, most of this is carpet fibers. There's a couple human hairs in here. Not really uh, much pet hair is stuck on the roller brush. Most of it is carpet fibers and a couple of pieces of my wife's hair. Next, we can look at the main brush right here. Check this out. You can see what we're dealing with as well. We have a lot of fibers and human hairs. So I use this to vacuum our shag rug in the family room. And this rug is atrocious and notorious for losing fibers. So every vacuum I use, all the main brushes, whether it's a cordless vac or rubble vac, always seem to get stuck with a lot of that rug's fiber. So I try not to vacuum on that rug too often because it's pretty annoying to have to come through and clean everything off. But you can see in this case, everything's removing very easily. And we have your typical, you know, stuck points for fibers and hairs. Typically it's gonna be right around the corners right here. So I can see some more of my wife's hair right there. So not too bad, maybe a little bit more stuck on the brush than I was expecting, but overall so far so good. Then we have our dustbin contents. Check it out guys, that max fill line. This is disgusting, but this is a real world test. This is what you can expect to pick up at your house. So let's go ahead, let's empty this. Oh my gosh. Oh, so much stuff's already falling out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is disgusting. Look at all that pet hair. So I have a dog and a 14 month old. So you can see we have a ton of different contents in here from pet hair, which is most of this, to some human hair, a lot of sticks, dirt, dust, debris, laundry lint. I mean, we got it all in here. Some uh, papery plastic bag material. So you can see towards the bottom, we have more of our bigger particles that'll get stuck in here. Looks like some pieces of salt, a lot of food crumbs. So it really picks up a wide variety, but I wanna focus on all the dust particles you see mixed in with the hair. So it gets really, really fine dust particles to obviously your bigger crumbs that you can expect around your house. So it does a really good job with the fine particles, trapping and keeping everything as well as the larger sticks, dirt, dust, and debris. So let me show you my final thoughts after using the K17 Pro vacuum cleaner. First, I wanna say overall, I think this is a complete kit and a solid choice if you're looking for a budget-friendly cordless vacuum cleaner. They really give you top and high-end features at an affordable price point. I've always been impressed with Musu products where they strike that balance between performance and price. So with that being said, here's what I really like about it and I'll share some things I wanna see improved about it in the future. First up, here's what I like. I love the LED crevice attachment. That is my favorite feature by far. Fantastic, guys. It is so cool to have the built-in LED lights, not just with the main brush, but now with included accessories and attachments like that crevice tool. Top notch, incredible. I can't say enough good things about it. Favorite feature by far. Also, I think we got decent power with this. I'm glad to see we have the LED lights included with the main brush and we have a removable battery. So if the battery life isn't good enough for you, you can always buy additional batteries to continue with your cleaning. Also, I wanna point out from the previous Musu products I've reviewed, they've listened to feedback and now this vacuum can stand on its own, which is cool. So you can see right here, it's perfectly balanced and it's standing up. It's not perfect, but it does work. You just have to kind of set it into the right spot and then just gently let go and then you can see it can stand up and we can do this with this fully extended as well too so it's not just even in the shorter extension mode i love that feature it's just nice not to have to bend over to pick up your vacuum cleaner off the ground because if you're like me you might get distracted do something else and then want to come back to it so you're trying to lean it up against the wall and it's always falling over and everything like that so it's really cool that with the design it's able to actually stand on its own Cool, 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 very happy. Now, here's some of the things I wanna see improved in the future. One is I really feel like they need to have an auto mode. So with the controls, we can just basically do our standard suction and our max suction power. I wish it had an auto mode so it could sense when you're doing carpet and increase the suction, or maybe you're on a rug, but then when you're hard floors and surfaces, it would decrease the suction automatically. I really wanna see 
that auto mode come to this in the future. Also, I really like to have the trigger to do on and off first the dedicated button. So it'd be cool to have a trigger button. Maybe that trigger button could also, you know, cycle between the suction settings and auto a standard and a max. I'd love to see that in the future. The last thing I'd say I wanna see improved is with the attachments, having all the attachments be able to work with that flexible hose and tube. As you can see earlier on in the video, since these need to have power to use like the main brush or the LED lights, they don't even let you attach it. But I wish we had the ability to still attach them all to that flexible tube and then maybe just not have the LED lights or not have the LED lights in the main brush roller, but still be able to use those attachments. So I'd love to see that flexible tube in the future be designed to still take the electrical contacts, even though they're not connecting to anything or that they won't be powered. But it'd be nice to have that flexible hose and to use our crevice attachment. So it's kind of a bummer to me that we have all those great accessories, but with the flexible hose, we're limited to just basically that two in one brush tool, as opposed to still being able to use the crevice tool as well. But overall, solid choice, definitely a complete kit. And I love that we get those high-end features like the built-in LED lights at a much more affordable price point. Oh, and lastly, I would like to see the main brush LED lights be brighter. What kind of made me laugh is I thought the crevice tool LED lights were too bright, and I kind of wish these main brush LED lights were brighter. These ones, in my opinion, cannot be too bright. Clearly, with the crevice tool, it's totally bright, it's fine, but I would actually like to see more LED brightness coming out of these four than with the crevice tool. But overall, very pleased and impressed with this vacuum. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? And subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.